Legislative Hall was focused this week on Governor Jack Markell's State of the State address, but House Democratic lawmakers were also hard at work on their own legislative initiatives, including a bill from Representative Mike Barbieri that creates a permanent Office of Financial Empowerment in the state, codifying the existing Stand By Me personal finance program. This program focuses on financial empowerment, and it works with all people. It works with those people who are involved in community centers. It also works with employers, with their employees. So it does a lot of work in trying to coach people on how to better spend their money, how to better save their money. It's all the things that we want as a country. We want our people to be self-sufficient. This is helping them do that. Representative Sean Lynn introduced a bill this week that adds the crime of strangulation to a list of offenses for which a judge may revoke bail and keep the suspect incarcerated while awaiting trial. Um, it's, a, it's a hugely important bill insofar as that revoking someone's bail uh, keeps them off the streets, keeps them from perpetrating further acts of domestic violence, and really protects the victims of domestic violence, which is really who we're focused on uh, with this piece of legislation. Next week, the General Assembly will hear the governor's budget plan for next fiscal year before recessing for six weeks of budget hearings before the Joint Finance Committee.